this section, we're not going to focus on the visuals or effects so much as we will be focusing on a concept called incongruous sound mixing. And the best example of this was something I saw as a kid and it's affected me in my entire life, and that is the Chuck Jones Looney Tunes cartoon Duck Amuck. This is a cartoon where Daffy Duck is having his backgrounds erased, his body altered, and the sounds that come out of his mouth completely different from what one would expect. It is absolutely hilarious and it is super surreal and it is something that has affected me my entire life. The idea that a lion might open its mouth and out comes the sound of a kitten or a frog. Those are really cool moments and it shows how you can be surreal and strange without even having to do very much. You just need to mismatch expectations. So in this particular piece of footage, I have a woman who is going to walk forward and she is going to be answering a banana phone. The, the banana will ring, she'll put it to her ear. She has footsteps, even though the way she walks is going to feel a little odd next to those footsteps. And then when she turns or pivots, it's going to have a door creaking sound. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some other odd sounds in the backgrounds here. I'm just selecting my waveforms. I'm dropping them into the audio tracks. And if I need multiple audio tracks, you certainly can add extra ones. You're not limited to the three that you initially have in Premiere, but it's good to take advantage of having different audio tracks because you're gonna find you want sounds to overlap and you're gonna want them to be different levels. You might want things to fade in and out. Those effects are under the audio transition menu. You have exponential fade, you have constant power. Creating a sound jungle, an audio jungle, and I don't mean a literal jungle, I just mean a collection of sounds, a, a very broad sound palette is super important to selling the idea and the believability of your environments. And it doesn't matter if those sounds are ones that we expect to have come out, we just expect that there's going to be a little bit of ambient noise, what they call room tone. Or if it's an outdoor scene, we want to hear some outdoor sounds. We want to hear birds, we want to hear a stream, the rustling of leaves, so on and so forth. I feel like the best surreal stuff is the material that meets you halfway. It creates an environment that you can believe in, and then it pulls the carpet out from underneath your feet by having these incongruous sounds. Hello, this is the secret of the universe. We should talk about where you get all these sounds. Do you have to go out and record everything yourself? No, not at all, especially in today's uh, multimedia marketplace. There are many stock sites that will sell you packs of sounds. In one of my earliest projects, I bought a pack of war sounds and artillery, and it listed every kind of gun, it had fire. Um, I've gotten packs that had to do with zombies. And currently, I subscribe to a service called Splice, which has a monthly fee, but it also has the collection of thousands of sound producers, so musicians, but also Foley artists, and you have things like crashes and impacts, and with a certain number of credits a month, uh, in my case it's 300, I'm allowed to download that number of sounds per month, and I'm able to use them in my projects, I'm able to keep them after I download them, so if I quit the service, I certainly have the opportunity to still use my crashes, impacts, etc. And then there's a lot of resources for free sounds, such as YouTube. The YouTube site itself gives creators access to certain Foley sounds. It might be a little bit of work to find every sound that you're looking for, but I guarantee it will be worth it when you have built up a large sound library and it will definitely improve any kind of project you're doing, whether it's a surreal video or something as simple like a corporate training video. You need to have a collection of sounds to work with. And the larger your collection, the more fun you can have mismatching them as I did in this project. <laughs> 